You know that joke where somebody's reading a gravestone and the legend on the gravestone reads, not dead, but sleeping. And this guy looks at it and says, that chap isn't fooling anyone but himself. Well, that's what's happening with the Labour Party. They've, uh, they've decided that their grand new socialist idea for Britain is going to shine a, the light of a new dawn upon this country. A new dawn where everyone is equal and even and everyone gets a fair wage and more of that later. And we're all multicultural and love each other. And then they discovered that it doesn't really work out like that. I'm Granny Opterix. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds. According to this article by Matthew Lynn, with only days left before the Labour government's big investment summit, uh, Poppy Guft Gustafsson, former chief executive of Dark Trace, whatever that is, heroically stepped up to fill the post of investment minister. So they organised this grand investment summit, which was going to be like a sort of party for businessmen. And they didn't even have an investment minister. The organisation of the summit has been chaotic and it's been overshadowed by the tax rises looming in the budget. The point about Lynn mentioning this is that a lot of people have left the country. Why should they not? A lot of companies have left the country or are shifting their assets elsewhere. And it's not only because of the, uh, the fact that they're worried about tax rises. They're worried about other things. For instance, this. This is a demonstration against P&O, the ferry company, uh, which has indulged in some rather sharp employment practices. They've been sacking experienced staff and have started to employ inexperienced but cheap staff from all over the place, not Britain. And these people are quite angry about that. And these grim looking individuals here are representative or heads of labour unions. And these two ladies here, they're members of the government. Members of the government taking part in a demonstration. And they're demonstrating against P and O, which was going to finance a scheme called the London Gateway, a new big port complex which would make the uh, shipping of goods between Britain and the continent uh, far more easy. But now p &O are pulling out because of this lady here, our Minister for Transport, this person with the pink hair, she described p &O as a rogue operator and she urged consumers to take part in a boycott. This is the Minister for Transport telling people to boycott a company and taking part in a demonstration against that company. So what happened? Sultan Ahmed bin Sulaym CEO of DP World, will no longer attend Monday's investment sum summit. And, of course, DP World has put the announcement of a reported £1 billion investment in the UK on hold after fierce criticism of the firm by ministers this week. By minister, well, probably Rayner as well, but I know Haig did it. And this company is owned by people who come from or are based in Dubai. 132,000 people living in modern slavery. And you wonder why they have dodgy employment practices. At the same time, Qatar announced it was selling 
a £306 million stake in Sainsbury's, citing the uncertainty around the upcoming budget for falling sales. You see, because when the, the government are, are going to tax the middle classes, they'll stop buying stuff from Sainsbury's and head out to Aldi or, or whatever. This government is a bunch of student radicals wrecking the economy of this country. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't bring you better news on a Saturday weekend when you should be enjoying yourself. I could try a grin, but it would look more like a grimace of pain because that's what it would be. Till next time. You can help my channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. That's quite important. And by sharing if you're so inclined. Links to my other channels and to donation methods are in the description. But the best way you can help is simply by clicking like and notify. Thank you.